The history of the beer pump, from hand pumps to modern dispensing systems. Introduction. The beer pump, also known as a beer engine or beer pole, is a crucial piece of equipment used to dispense beer from kegs or casks. It has a rich history that spans centuries, reflecting the evolution of beer production and consumption. This exploration traces the development of the beer pump from its early origins to the modern dispensing systems we see today. Chapter 1, Early Beer Dispensing Methods In this chapter, we delve into the very beginnings of beer and its rudimentary methods of storage and dispensing in ancient times. Here's a more detailed explanation of this foundational chapter. Ancient Brewing, the chapter opens by looking at the origins of beer production, which can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as the Sumerians and Egyptians. These early brewers used basic methods to ferment grains and create a primitive form of beer. This included mashing grains, fermenting the mash, and allowing it to naturally carbonate over time. Early beer vessels, to store and serve their fermented brews, ancient cultures used a variety of vessels. These included clay pots and amphorae in ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. These vessels were often sealed to prevent contamination and preserve the beer. Wooden casks, the chapter also explores the use of wooden casks for storing and serving beer. Wooden casks were used in regions like Britain and Germany. These casks were often sealed with pitch or resin to maintain the beer's integrity and prevent spoilage. Beer in wooden casks underwent a natural conditioning process as it matured which contributed to its flavor and carbonation. Gravity Dispensing In ancient times, beer was primarily dispensed using the force of gravity. The cask or vessel would be positioned above the serving area, and beer would flow out when a tap or spigot was opened. This simple method allowed for the relatively easy dispensing of beer without the need for additional pressure or equipment. Social and Cultural Significance The chapter emphasizes the early social and cultural significance of beer. Beer was often consumed in communal settings, such as gatherings and festivals, and played a role in religious rituals. These early beer gatherings contributed to the development of pub culture and communal drinking spaces, which would later become integral to the history of beer. Chapter 2, The Emergence of Cask Ale, 17th Century. In Chapter 2, we delve into a pivotal period in beer history during the 17th century when cask ale, particularly in England, emerged as a popular and enduring method of beer production and consumption. Here's a more detailed explanation of this chapter. British Roots This chapter highlights the significant role that Britain played in the development of cask ale. During the 17th century, British brewers began to adopt and refine the practice of aging and conditioning beer in wooden casks. This marked a departure from earlier methods of brewing, which often involved more rustic or rudimentary techniques. Wooden casks, wooden casks became the vessel of choice for aging and serving beer during this period. Brewers discovered that wooden casks, typically made from oak, contributed unique flavors and characteristics to the beer. The wood imparted subtle complexities to the brew, enhancing its taste and aroma. Gravity dispensing, cask ale, stored in these wooden casks, was often dispensed using the principle of gravity. Pubs and taverns positioned the casks in a cellar or storage area above the bar, allowing gravity to feed the beer into the taps. This method was known as draft or real ale and required no additional gas or external pressure to serve the beer. Public houses, pubs This chapter emphasizes the role of public houses, or pubs, as central hubs for the consumption of cask ale. Pubs became gathering places where people from various walks of life could enjoy a pint of freshly drawn cask ale. The communal and social aspects of pub culture began to take shape during this period. Conditioning and maturation, cask ale's unique quality came from the aging and conditioning process within the cask. As beer matured in wood, it underwent a natural carbonation process and developed a depth of flavor. The cask sealing and the use of yeast from the beer itself contributed to the beer's character. The importance of the publican, this chapter also underscores the vital role of the publican, the owner or operator of a pub. The publican played a crucial role in maintaining the quality of cask ale. They had to handle, store, and serve the beer correctly to ensure that it reached the customer in optimal condition. Chapter 3, The Invention of the Beer Engine, 18th Century. Chapter 3 explores a pivotal moment in the history of beer dispensing, the invention of the beer engine during the 18th century. 
This invention revolutionized the way beer was served and is an essential part of beer history. Here's a more detailed explanation of this chapter. Innovation in beer dispensing, this chapter begins by highlighting the need for innovation in beer dispensing. While cask ale was popular, serving it required physical effort to pump the beer from the cellar to the bar. The beer engine was developed to address this challenge and make the process more efficient. Joseph Brahma and John Lofting, the beer engine was invented by Joseph Brahma, an English engineer and inventor, in 1797. However, the concept of the beer engine can be traced back to John Lofting, who had earlier patented a similar device in 1688. Lofting's invention laid the groundwork for Brahma's improvements. The function of the beer engine, this chapter explains the mechanics of the beer engine. It is essentially a mechanical pump that uses a lever and piston to draw beer from a cask in the cellar and push it to the tap at the bar. This eliminated the need for manual effort, making it easier to serve beer. Better control and consistency, the beer engine allowed for better control over the dispensing process. Publicans and bartenders could control the flow of beer, ensuring that each pint was served with consistency. This contributed to the quality and reputation of the establishment. Expansion of beer styles, the invention of the beer engine also led to an expansion of beer styles that could be served. It allowed for alash, stouts, and porters to be served alongside traditional bitters. This variety appealed to a broader range of customers. Ornate beer engines, the chapter mentions the ornate and decorative designs of some beer engines during this era. Many publicans and breweries used the opportunity to showcase their craftsmanship by adorning beer engines with intricate carvings and decorations. Impact on pub culture, the introduction of the beer engine had a profound impact on pub culture. Pubs became places where customers could expect high-quality, well-pulled pints of beer. This contributed to the enduring appeal of British pubs as social gathering spaces. Chapter 4, The Rise of Pub Culture, 19th Century. Chapter 4 explores the flourishing of pub culture during the 19th century, particularly in Britain. This period was marked by significant social and cultural changes, and pubs played a central role in the lives of people. Here's a more detailed explanation of this chapter. Victorian era and social changes, the 19th century, often referred to as the Victorian era, was a time of significant social and economic changes. The Industrial Revolution had transformed society, leading to urbanization, a growing working class, and shifts in daily life. These changes influenced the role of pubs. Pubs as social hubs, this chapter underscores how pubs became more than just places to drink. They evolved into social hubs where people from various backgrounds could gather, socialize, and relax. Pubs offered respite from the challenges of urban life and the industrial workplace. Community and identity, pubs played a role in fostering a sense of community and identity. Regular patrons formed bonds with one another and with the pub itself. Pubs often had unique names, and their interiors were decorated with memorabilia and symbols that reflected local history and culture. Pub design and architecture, the chapter explores the design and architecture of pubs during this period. Many Victorian-era pubs featured ornate and distinctive architectural elements, including decorative tiles, stained glass, and intricate woodwork. These design choices added to the charm and character of the establishments. Role of publicans, publicans, the owners or operators of pubs, played a central role in maintaining the atmosphere and reputation of their establishments. They were responsible for serving quality beer, maintaining cleanliness, and ensuring that patrons felt welcome. Pub entertainment, pubs often provided entertainment beyond just drinking. Some featured live music, pub games, such as darts and billiards, and even performances. These activities added to the allure of pubs as places of leisure and entertainment. Temperance movement, this chapter touches on the temperance movement, which gained momentum during the 19th century. The movement advocated for abstinence from alcohol and had an impact on drinking habits and regulations. Some pubs responded by offering non-alcoholic alternatives. Diversity of pubs, the chapter acknowledges the diversity of pubs during this period. While many were traditional, others catered to specific groups, such as music halls, workingmen's clubs, and literary salons. Each type of pub had its unique character and clientele. Chapter 5 
The Transition to Modern Dispensing Systems, 20th Century. Chapter 5 explores the significant changes that occurred in the world of beer dispensing during the 20th century. This period marked a transition from traditional cask alash to more modern methods of beer storage and dispensing. Here's a more detailed explanation of this chapter. Technological Advancements The chapter begins by emphasizing the technological advancements that shaped the 20th century. The invention of refrigeration, improvements in materials and manufacturing processes, and the development of new technologies had a profound impact on the beer industry. Transition from cask ale to keg beer During this era, there was a notable transition from cask ale to keg beer. Kegs, typically made of metal, offered advantages in terms of consistency, shelf life, and ease of transport. Unlike cask ale, keg beer could be easily pressurized, allowing for greater control over carbonation. Carbonation and the role of gas One of the key shifts in modern beer dispensing was the use of pressurized gas, often carbon dioxide (CO2), to dispense beer from kegs. This replaced the older gravity-fed method used with cask alash. Pressurized gas allowed for precise control over the flow of beer and ensured a consistent serving experience. Draft beer systems, the chapter delves into the development of draft beer systems. These systems included kegs, CO2 tanks, and specialized dispensing equipment like beer taps and faucets. Bars and pubs began using these systems to serve beer efficiently and maintain its quality. The role of carbonation, carbonation became a key aspect of modern beer. Brewers could control the level of carbonation in keg beer, allowing them to produce beers with specific effervescence levels. This contributed to the popularity of beer styles like lagers. The pint glass, the use of pint glasses for serving beer became widespread during this period. Pint glasses were chosen for their standardization and ease of use. They allowed bartenders to pour beer with precision, and customers could easily see the volume of beer they were getting. Impact on beer styles, the transition to modern dispensing methods also had an impact on beer styles. While cask alash remained popular in some regions, the rise of keg beer led to the production of beer styles that were well-suited to pressurized dispensing, such as lagers and lighter alash. Chapter 6, Modern Dispensing Methods, 21st Century Present. Chapter 6 delves into the contemporary beer dispensing methods and technologies that have emerged in the 21st century. This period has witnessed innovations in how beer is stored, served, and enjoyed. Here's a more detailed explanation of this chapter. Integration of Technology The chapter begins by highlighting the increasing integration of technology in modern beer dispensing methods. Digital controls and monitoring systems are now commonplace, allowing bar owners to precisely manage factors like temperature, pressure, and flow rate for optimal beer quality. Remote monitoring, one key development is the ability to remotely monitor beer dispensing systems. Through the use of sensors and digital interfaces, bar managers can check the status of kegs, track inventory, and even troubleshoot issues from a distance. This level of control ensures that beer is consistently served at its best. Smart Taps and Faucets Modern dispensing equipment includes smart taps and faucets equipped with digital displays. These displays often show real-time information about the beer being poured, such as its style, brewery, and even its temperature. This adds an interactive element to the beer drinking experience. Nitro and CO2 Blends The chapter explores the use of nitrogen, nitro, and carbon dioxide CO2, blends in dispensing. Nitro beers, known for their creamy and smooth mouthfeel, are dispensed using a combination of nitrogen and CO2. This technique has gained popularity, especially for stouts and porters. Alternative dispensing methods, beyond traditional taps, alternative dispensing methods like beer towers, beer engines, and even specialized glassware are discussed. These methods cater to different beer styles and enhance the presentation and aroma of the beer. Craft beer and diversity, the craft beer movement has played a significant role in promoting diverse beer styles and innovative dispensing methods. The chapter highlights how craft breweries often experiment with ingredients, serving methods, and presentation to create unique and memorable beer experiences. Eco-friendly practices, sustainability is a growing concern in the beer industry. The chapter explores eco-friendly practices such as reducing waste, reusing materials, 
and minimizing the environmental impact of beer production and dispending. Immersive experiences, modern beer dispending isn't just about serving a beverage, it's about creating immersive experiences. Brew pubs and taprooms often feature brewery tours, tastings, and events that allow consumers to connect with the beer making process and the people behind the brews. Future trends, the chapter concludes with a look at emerging trends and technologies that may shape the future of beer dispending. This includes the potential use of blockchain for tracking beer provenance, augmented reality experiences, and sustainable packaging. Chapter 7, Challenges and Innovations. Chapter 7 delves into the various challenges faced by the beer industry and explores the innovative solutions that have emerged to address these issues. It examines the complexities and opportunities that have arisen as beer dispensing and consumption evolve. Here's a more detailed explanation of this chapter. Sustainability Challenges The chapter starts by discussing the sustainability challenges faced by the beer industry. These challenges include concerns about water usage, energy consumption, waste generation, and the environmental impact of brewing and dispending processes. Eco-friendly practices To tackle sustainability challenges, the beer industry has embraced eco-friendly practices. Breweries and bars are increasingly adopting environmentally conscious approaches, such as recycling, repurposing waste products, reducing water usage, and implementing energy-efficient equipment. The role of packaging, packaging plays a significant role in addressing sustainability concerns. The chapter explores innovations in beer packaging, such as the use of recyclable cans, lightweight glass bottles, and the reduction of plastic waste through alternatives like cardboard packaging. Quality assurance, ensuring the quality of beer during dispending is a critical challenge. The chapter discusses innovations in quality assurance, including the use of sensors and monitoring systems that track factors like temperature, pressure, and oxygen levels in beer storage and dispending systems. These innovations help maintain beer freshness and taste. Consumer expectations, modern consumers have high expectations for the quality and variety of beer. The chapter addresses how breweries and bars are meeting these expectations by offering a diverse range of beer styles, seasonal brews, and unique flavor profiles. Craft Beer Movement The craft beer movement has driven innovation in the industry. Craft brewers are known for experimenting with ingredients, creating new beer styles, and pushing the boundaries of traditional brewing. This chapter highlights the impact of craft breweries on the beer landscape. Challenges of Craft Beer Despite their success, craft breweries face challenges in scaling up production while maintaining quality. The chapter explores how some craft breweries have navigated these challenges through collaborations, contract brewing, and innovative distribution methods. Technology and Automation The beer industry has embraced technology to streamline production and dispending processes. This includes automation in brewing, packaging, and dispending systems, which can improve efficiency and consistency. Beer dispensing systems, innovations in beer dispending systems, such as digital beer taps and smart faucets, are discussed. These systems enhance the customer experience and allow for precise control over temperature and carbonation. Conclusion, the beer pump's enduring legacy. The history of the beer pump mirrors the evolution of beer itself, from ancient and rustic beginnings to a modern, high-tech industry. Today, the beer pump remains an essential tool for serving beer, whether it's a traditional cask ale or a craft beer from a state-of-the-art draft system. Its enduring legacy is a testament to the love of beer and the desire for a perfect pour.